like I like the production of it. Like the one thing, it's it was a quick. It's only like a little bit over an hour, like hour and a half, maybe. Seventy four like minutes, yeah. Say seventy four minutes. So it's a lot of it's packed for. You get a lot in it, right? If there's yeah. a family aspect to it, there's the player aspect to it. It's the it's the surprising labor part of it. Mm -hmm. And I would say, that, so if, like some guys are like, oh, I don't want to watch this WNBA. Okay, fine. If you don't like women's sports, okay. But watch it from the union part of it. Because we're totally. all, the union part of it, the collective bargaining part of it, I think that the one thing great, the, there's a lot of great things about the doc. But the great, the, the greatest thing is we get inside the meetings. Mm -hmm. For the NBA's Play Association, NFL, we don't, we're not inside the meetings. We hear about the meetings. We never, so the, the, the ability of letting you guys film it and it's, it wasn't everything, but just to, no. be, to be in the meetings and hear them talk about, hey, we need to talk about travel. We need to talk about pensions. These are things that we hear after the fact that just actually hearing this from the athletes themselves is very special. I totally agree with you. And I think, again, that was the part of telling the story from the Players Association perspective that made me know that this was going to work. And the intention behind this movie, and I've said this from the very, very beginning, is this movie needs to be seen. I don't want this to go on some platform where it's gonna be below the fold, you have to scroll three times to get to it, and it's just gonna be buried and nobody's gonna watch it. I wanted to sing this messaging from the rooftops because I knew if it was something that made me question and made me think, it would make others do that too. And if people have this misperception of what the W is and whether it's fun to watch or, you know, exactly what you're just saying, Kevin, like, then let's get them with the business part of it. Let's get them hooked in and invested into like, wait, why can't they charter flights? What do you mean Joe Sy was fined $500,000 during COVID because he chartered a flight for the health and safety of his players? Like, None of that made sense to me at all. And if I'm that interested, I can get other people interested. And she was the right one to tell that story. Yeah, I always say, Kevin, it's it's for people with a high sports IQ. Yeah. Um, because we've all, if we follow sports, we've heard CBA. Um, but understanding the intricacies, intricacies of it is something I didn't know um, anything about. And I think that the WNBA as a product is for people with high sports IQ. Yeah. Speaking about platforms, let's get a shout out to Tubi. Um, yes. Shattered Glass is on Tubi. 